good morning students welcome to this video so that biology lesson 2 completed the nutrients in animals you know so this is very important lesson just you recall one second the page number 19 what you have learned you know what you learn about this lesson you know in this lesson you have learned about the digestion in human beings and digestion in some other animals you know like that uh, cow buffalo and some even that microorganism itself okay so that animal nutrients including the nutrients recruitment mode of intake of food and its utilization in the body so all the living organism needed food for in our body okay next the human digestive system consists of the alimentary canal and secretory glands so the human digestion is a very important process of all living organism without digestion the food cannot synthesize or cannot digest so without digestion means what will happen the nutrients cannot supply from whole parts of the body so the digestion process is very important that digestive system started from where you know the digestive system human digestive system started from buccal cavity you know started from where buccal cavity and esophagus and stomach and small intestine large intestine and finally that rectum and anus you know so the human digestive systems you know we are getting that uh, different kinds of food item like the liquid food item and solid food item itself you know so the digestion is a very important process the digestive system started from buccal cavity you know buccal cavity and end up the anus you know and the main digestive glands which secrete digestive juice or the salivary gland the liver and pancreas so the some of the internal organ secreting some of the juices so that juices is that juice is is very important for digestion process you know like that salivary gland the liver also secreting some of the juice and pancreas also secreting some of the juice so these all the juices is very important for process of digestion the stomach the stomach wall and that wall of the small intestine also secrete digestive juices even the stomach wall and the wall of small intestine even that for example the stomach secreting that uh, hcl you know hydrochloric acid okay and small intestine and wall of small intestine itself secreting some of the juices so these juices is help for digestive process and the the different organs are getting the food in the different ways you know the nutrients is a complex process involving you know so the nutrients is a complex process involving the ingestion digestion and absorption and assimilation and digestion and digestion so the first one the ingestion means nothing but ingestion mean the intake of food inside the mouth cavity is called ingestion so we are uh, getting the food and the digestive process started from mouth regions or the buccal regions you know so that is called that ingestion and the digestion so the digestion means nothing but the food substances you know the complex substances the complex substances the breakdown into the simpler substances is called digestion so the digestion means nothing but the complex food substances you know the food substances is break down the first you know we are normally we are getting the complex substances that substances is break down is very important okay va how they are break down use some of that secreting juices okay so the digestion means nothing but that break down of complex substances converted into the simpler substances is known as called that digestions and next to and that absorption then next to and that absorption so the absorption means nothing but 
the digestive food get absorbed by the inner wall of small intestine you know the next one the absorption nothing but the food substances is digested process after that all the nutrients is transferred from all parts of the body through the wall of small intestine that is called that absorption that is called what absorption next one that assimilation that assimilation means nothing but the process of absorption is followed by the distribution of absorbed food to the all parts of the body is shown as called that assimilation so assimilation is mean nothing but there is some nutrient the digested process of that there is some nutrients is mixed through the blood vessels mixed through the blood vessels that nutrient it can transfer from all parts of the body that process is called that assimilation okay and next one the last process digestion so the digestion means nothing but the undigested food you know the digestion means nothing but the undigested food can remove from the body through the anus through the anus this process is known as called that digestion so that is a different complex process involving in the digestion process okay and next one the digestion in carbo the digestion in carbohydrate like the starch being in the buccal cavity the digestion of protein stored in the stomach okay the digestion of carbohydrate the carbohydrate mean like the starch okay wa being in the buccal cavity the digestion of protein start in the stomach you know the carbohydrate where will digest like that buccal cavity and the digestion of protein start in stomach you know where will uh, protein digest in our the stomach region the pile secrete from the liver the pancreatic juice from the pancreas and the digestive juice from the in in the intestinal wall of complex of digestion of all compounds of food in that small intestine the digestive food is absorbed in the blood vessel from the small intestine you know the digestive food is always absorbed in the blood vessel from the small intestine so now what will happen all the nutrients all the nutrients it can uh, mix or dissolve with blood vessels you know so the blood it can always transfer from one parts of the body to another parts of the body now what will happen all the nutrients is transfer from one parts of the body to another parts of the body okay next one the absorbed substances are transported to different parts of the body you know now i told you know the absorbed substance means what that like the nutrients you know all the nutrients is transferred from different parts of the body the water and some salt are absorbed from the undigested food in the large intestine you know what is the main role of the large intestine the large intestine is always absorbed that undigested food like that water and some salt absorbed from that undigested food in that large intestine and that undigested or unabsorbed waste material are excreted out of the body through that anus you know that is the last process you know that undigested food you know or undigested or unabsorbed food material is removed from the body through the anus through the anus so that is through the anus that process is known as called excretion that process is known as called what excretion okay you will learn in higher class you know the excretion means nothing but that undigested or unabsorbed food material removed from the body through the anus this process is called that excretion and next one like the digestion in grass eating animals you know like that buffalo and cow and deer in some other animals also so these animals is known as called the ruminant so the ruminant means nothing but the such kinds of animals is always eating the uh, grass food item so that is called the ruminant okay these animals they quickly ingest the ingest means what intake these animals are quickly intake shallow their leafy food 
and store in that room and you know what is the main role what is the main function of room and store that food later the food return into the mouth and that animal chief eats tastefully so the first animal they are eating very fastly okay so after okay afterwards the grass or food item is returned to the mouth and that animal chew in peaceful next amoeba in amoeba ingest its food with the help of its false feet or pseudopodia so the amoeba is one of the microscopic organism without a microscopy can seen in our eyes okay so this even that microorganism itself it having that uh, digestion and excretion in some of the system also you know the amoeba ingest of food with the help of false feet or pseudopodia you know the what is the meaning of the pseudopodia like that finger like growth you know the finger like growth that is called that pseudopodia you know so this pseudopodia what is the main role of the pseudopodia it captured and okay wa it captured the food material it captured the food material and the food is digested in that food vacuole you know what is that main uh, already you know just you recall one second okay keep in mind so the food is digested in the uh, food vacuole so what is that main uh, function of the food vacuole the digestion okay what well, the food is digested in the food vacuole okay that is everything is very important just you recall students okay thank you